We're very honored to also have um, Congressman Grace Napolitano with us, and we invite her to come up and say a few words as well. Thank you. I was in committee, but it is great to have a, a, a good showing here for this very important youth suicide uh, event. Um, I thank Congressman Ketko. I think he has in committee also. Um, Bayer was in committee with me, so he's stuck. I don't know. Oh, there you are. Come on up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh, suicide is the second leading cause of death. You know that. Uh, it happens uh, often, too often, and we have to start learning what the signs are, teaching the universities and the schools the warning signs and getting the word out more and more because now people are beginning to pay, pay attention, but not enough information is getting, getting, out, get, getting out there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, a te teenager is more likely to die by suicide than by a traffic accident. That is terrible news. And I think uh, it's up to us to find ways to uh, get the word out, to get uh, that uh, addressed. I know we probably can't get rid of it, but certainly we can try. Uh, we have to work together and, and get it done. Uh, whether it's reaching out to a friend who's fallen through the tough times or sharing resources, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, the 800-273-TALK, or 8255, in our schools and colleges, even in grammar schools, believe it or not, they lead, need to learn when they're young. I challenge everybody to pay close attention, and I thank my uh, friend for being here. I, I just spoke. Oh, I uh, didn't uh, know that. Uh, Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> it was really long, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I thank the panel for being here and uh, paying attention to what we're trying to do, and uh, hopefully together we can do more outreach to uh, the people that really care about this. Thank you. Thank you. 